Hey bro, I'm Sam Millison, I'm 15, I'm from the UK and over the past few months I've made almost $4,000 online from doing coaching now. I'm just telling you that now, okay, so you can actually take what I'm saying seriously, okay, so you know I'm credible in this, okay, because me and you, we both know that there's so many kids online, okay, they'll tell you how to make money online, how to make 10k online guys and everything like that, but they haven't even made a single dollar online themselves yet, okay. I am making money online, okay. I know how to do this, you can trust what I'm saying, so please for this video, don't treat it like every other video on YouTube, okay? Actually pay attention, so close your other tabs or whatever you're doing, don't scroll down, complete full screen, yeah, go get some like paper or I don't know, whatever, yeah, actually make notes on this, alright? Because this video, it will help you. When I started doing business, this was about a year ago, it was like late 2023, I started up this like free, it was, sorry it wasn't free, it was like a $9 cheap little community and everything where people could pay $9 to join and they could talk to me in the community and talk to a few other people that are already in there for free and everything. And um, I was selling that first product for a couple months, a couple months, and a, probably a couple weeks after I started selling this first $9 product, I started selling $100 like one-on-one -on -one coaching where people could like pay me $100 to get on like a call with me and ask me questions and then like text me and stuff like that and everything like that. And I was heavily, heavily promoting this $9 community. I didn't really tell anyone about the like, $100 like, coaching. It was literally just like a singular link. I didn't mention it or anything. It was literally just a link where people would go to pay um, or go to book a call with me even, and then they'd pay on the call and everything. And um, it was really, really surprising that in this whole like couple months period when I was just starting out in business, I only got one singular sale for that $9 community when I was like telling everyone on my videos to like go join the community and everything, guys. And um, I never even mentioned the $100 coaching but the hundred dollar coaching in that same time despite being over 10 times more expensive and me not promoting it at all actually got two sales when the nine dollar community only got one and the surprising thing is is that i managed to get two sales for a hundred dollar product because it was more expensive than the nine dollar product and i'll get onto that later in the video and i felt epic because i just made my like first ever two hundred dollars and not only that i also got to help these people loads and loads and loads and i'm still friends with both of those first original clients and i still talk to them almost every day and um that's a pretty pretty good thing but anyway i'm gonna go over the four main reasons okay and why you should raise your prices and why you have to go high ticket and why selling these like cheap little five dollar nine dollar twenty dollar products okay doesn't work anywhere near as well as selling 200 300 500 dollar products firstly it is significantly easier to make money let's say you want to make a thousand dollars okay what's easier to make a thousand dollars with getting a hundred clients for ten dollars each or just getting two clients for five hundred dollars each just, just think in your mind okay go through all the processes you'd have to go through to acquire these clients and everything what would be easier to do what would be easier to set up what would be easier to manage and everything just think about it. You can write it down on the notes that you should have out. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the two $500 clients, wouldn't it? It'd be significantly easier because, I mean, you could just go out messaging people, offering it and everything. To get 100 people in, 100 people in, it's, it's crazy. It's like, looking at it this way, the barrier for people to buy something is like already like at 50%. Yeah. And then on top of that is the price, if that makes sense. So everyone has this like default barrier of them putting their credit card information in. That barrier is not even 50%, maybe 80% of the barrier itself and the rest 20% is probably only the price. It's, it's weird to think about because you think, yeah, a $1 product, you get loads and loads of sales, but surprisingly, like a $1 product could get like just as many sales as a $100 product, yeah? But anyway, that's later on. It is so, so much easier to make a lot more money, okay, when you raise your prices. It's, it's honestly crazy. I've gone through this before. It's like that $9 community, yeah, I got one sale for that, yeah. If I wanted to make $200, I don't even know what that is. It's more than 20, 21, 22, I'm not quite sure, yeah. It would have been significantly harder to get 22 sales for that $9 community rather than just two sales for the $100 product. And this kind of goes out the window once you've hit a ceiling in your niche. So on like whatever business you're doing, if you hit a ceiling where there's like you physically cannot get more clients, then obviously increasing your prices, you're not, it's, it, it limits you if that makes sense. Like Amazon, if they were only selling like $10,000, $100,000 products, they wouldn't be able to make like billions and billions and billions, would they? Because obviously they sell to literally everyone. Everyone is their target customer. And so obviously when you get to the millions and billions and everything like that this kind of goes out the window i mean you i guess you probably could get to that amount selling high ticket but then like it, it's different and obviously that's that's incredibly far in the future and most of us won't even get there anyway um yeah for now basically just go high ticket because it is significantly easier for you to make money and that's only the first reason and the next reason is that it's a lot less stress for you when i was at my peak of like the amount of coaching clients i had i think i had like 13 or 14 and um yeah it was six and a half hours of calls a week I worked out, or seven even some weeks. 
I was on top of like 30 hours of school. I was, it's probably even, what, yeah, so school six hours a day, five days a week, that's 30 hours, but then there's commuting and everything, so it's probably like seven and a half hours total. Yeah, it's, the school's probably at least 35 hours a week in total. And then we have all the calls and everything, and obviously that would just take up my weekend, like, sorry, it'd take up all my Saturday, like doing all these calls and everything. And on top of that, I've got all the like, texting and extra things with my clients and everything. And then I've also got to do YouTube and I've got to do this thing and that thing. And it was just way too much for me, like way, way, way too much for me. So much stress on me when I had like an incredibly large amount of clients and going lower ticket for each of the clients. Because if you go for like a really large amount of people, so let's say you're selling a $10 product here yeah, and you had a hundred people in it, to manage a hundred people, yeah, you can't just do that by yourself, okay? Because There'll be, there'll be countless people who are wanting refunds and all of that, and you're going to have to basically pay someone out to sort that all out for you. Like When you go low ticket and high volume with customer, customers, you have to employ the people to like deal with the customers, basically. When you go really high ticket with a small amount of customers, you can do everything for the customers because obviously there's not like hundreds and thousands of them, okay? But anyway, when I was at my peak of coaching clients, doing like seven hours a week of calls, Normally, I love coming on calls and helping people and solving their problems for them with coaching and everything. And um, yeah, I remember at that time, I really started hating it, honestly, because it was just too much. It was like my whole Saturday, like my, imagine your whole Saturday just gone, just being on calls with people, giving them advice. You are going to eventually hate it. It's like you can love doing stuff and you can be purposeful with it and everything and you can love it. But if it's taken up your entire week or oh, sorry, half your weekend, yeah and you're forced to do it, you are naturally gonna start hating it. It's like, you will love everything until you have to do it too much, okay? <laughs> and um, yeah, I really started hating it just because I had too much and it caused me so much stress and eventually that just caused me to kind of quit for a bit, but that's another story for another day. And not only that, when you charge higher prices, your clients instantly become higher quality, okay? Because if you're selling like a $1 product, everyone can afford that, okay? So there's gonna be like little kids spending like, I don't know, all the, okay, let, let, me, let me give a better example for this, sorry. Let's say you were selling like a $20 product. I remember like before I started making money online and stuff, I was, I think my pocket money was like 20 pound a week. So let's just say it was 20 pound, yeah, because obviously I'm pretty sure we use pounds, not dollars. If I was to buy something that was 20 pound a month, that's my entire net worth spent on this one thing, okay? And so I'm gonna be really, really, really picky, okay, about whether it's good or not. And this goes for everyone else who doesn't have, who's basically broken, doesn't have a good income, okay? If they're spending like 50% of their net worth, yeah, or their pocket money or their whatever, on your product, they're gonna be incredibly picky about it, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly picky about it. And it's just like people who don't have as much money are generally lesser quality, okay? It's, 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 it's a plain fact. People who have more money are generally, generally higher quality people than people without money. And that's obviously, it's a very general broad statement. There's plenty of exceptions and everything, but in general, okay, you want to be selling high ticket because it'll be higher quality people. If you go low ticket, you can probably start getting like little kids, not, well, not literal little kids, but you know what I mean? People act, who act like little kids buying your product and everything and you just having to deal with them, wanting refunds. I remember when my coaching was like $150, $150, yeah. There was this one guy who bought it we won on like the first hour call and then uh, about a week later, he was just like, oh yeah, bro, I actually want a full refund. And he just plagued me for like weeks and weeks and weeks wanting the refund while I was still actually going on calls with him. It's like, it, it, it's, people are just like stupid like that. And he just wouldn't give like give up like not wanting this refund, even though I've already completely helped him. And it's like, I, don't, I put like no refunds if I've already done the hour call with you and everything. And it's just like, it caused me so much stress. Yeah, for this one singular guy who just kept like bothering me with this, yeah. And eventually, I, he never got the refund, obviously, because I was in the right and he was just being a dickhead, really. I run, actually, my coaching actually helped him to get sales with his own coaching, even though he wanted a refund on mine. Like, you get stupid, stupid people, okay, like that if you sell lower quality. But ever since I've increased my price to $500 now, which is what it's currently at, I've only had high quality guys who I enjoy working with, okay? There hasn't been any complete idiots like that before, all right? And I'm just enjoying it much, much more. And obviously it's less stress because it's less call time. And so I can also, and I'll, I'll go into this in a minute, you can help them more. In fact, I'll move on to that point right now. You can help them more. Okay, with less clients, it's like, I'm using less of my brain power. Like on, the, on that Saturday, because I'd have my calls on Saturdays. Like when, I, like when I was like five hours into calls, it's like my brain was already, already fried. And so when I was going to go into like the next 30 minute call with someone, it's like my brain was just already fried. And so I wasn't helping them nearly as much as I could as if my brain was fresh. 
I mean, I go into calls now and it's like, I, I don't have like massive stacks of calls like I did before and I just prefer it so much more because it's like, my brain is just so much clearer and I can really think a lot deeper for everyone. And obviously if you get your clients more results in, well, I mean, whatever you're doing, if, if you're doing some sort of coaching or whatever, let's say you're doing it on bodybuilding or I don't know, climbing, I just go always, always give these examples, but whatever you're doing, yeah. If you help them more to get more results, they are going to give better testimonials and you're going to have more credibility and more proof that you are a good coach. I mean, for example, for me, if none of my clients ever actually got results, I would not be here where I am today, okay? Because I won't have the credibility and proof that I can actually help people to make money online doing coaching themselves, okay? And this is probably the perfect time for a quick CTA. Obviously, as I've mentioned during this video, I do co I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's $500, as I mentioned. Um, to basically help you to do coaching yourself. It's kind of like weird coaching inception thing, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I help guys to basically do coaching themselves and to make money online with coaching, okay? If you're interested in that and if you want to get my coaching, then we can just talk about it. I've got a whole like Canada link in the description and everything like that. So you can go book a call with me there and um, we can go talk further about everything there. Um, yeah, bro. And like I was saying, it's so much more enjoyable when you just have like a small amount of people, okay? Because you, you get to help them more and you get to make a more personal and closer connection. I remember when I had loads and loads of clients, it's like I had like three guys from Argentina. Oh, like two of them had the name, the same name, Juan. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And then another had another name beginning with a J. And um, <laughs> it was a silent J. And it's like, I was getting them confused the whole time. And they also, all, all three of them also lived in the same city as well. And so <laughs> it was just like, and they all look similar as well, like black hair, um, like white skin. And it's just like, <laughs> it was so confusing. I get confused between them all the time. And um, yeah, man, <laughs> it wasn't enjoyable when that happened, okay? It wasn't enjoyable when that happened, but... When you have a small amount of clients, you can really make a much closer connection with all of them, okay? You can become, yeah, that's really, you, you can become closer to, to them, okay? Because you can be more present with them. You can spend more time thinking about them. You can give them more effort and give them more time and everything like that. And it's just so, so much better. And obviously, if you're giving them more effort, they're going to get more results. And so you're going to feel better about yourself because you're helping them to get more results. It's like, would you rather help like one person really, really loads, like completely change their life? Or, or basically, I don't know, a thousand people make their lives a tiny, slightly bit better. Yeah. Which would you feel better about? You'd feel better about just changing one person's life. Like imagine that there's someone who's like, I don't know, let's say you're doing self-improvement coaching. He was depressed. Yeah, not have a job. Like not doing anything with his life. Just completely hating his life. Yeah, doing all the bad habits and habits and everything like that. Like not working out, not exercising, not going outside, not talking to people. Yeah, just in his room with the blind closed. Yeah, in darkness all day playing games. Yeah. Imagine that, just depression, and you help lift him up, and he starts going to the gym, and he starts talking to people, he becomes more social, yeah, he builds up a life around himself, he gets a job, he starts making money online, and his parents are proud of him now, and he's really, really loving his life, and his mental health is better, and you did that all for him, yeah. Think about how good you would feel about that. Now compare that scenario, okay, to there's a thousand guys, and you help them all just t a tiny bit, like, I don't know, maybe you convince all of them to do 10 press-ups one day. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe that's equivalent to changing one guy's life. Yeah. Which would you feel better about? Making a thousand people just do 10 press-ups as a one-time thing. Yeah. Or ch completely changing one guy's life. You're gonna, it's obviously changing his life. Like, changing this one guy's life, you're going to feel so much better about that than you're helping, like, a load, a massive amount of people just a tiny bit. And... Again, that's why going high ticket is so much better because you eventually, when you scale up, like you're gonna be at a point where you're getting too many clients. Like if you if you stay determined in this and everything, after you get your first sale and your first couple of sales, you're gonna just like keep scaling up, and you're gonna to come to the problem where you've actually got too many clients. Obviously, if you raise your prices, then then you're gonna have less clients in order to help each other more. And it's, it really is the best feeling in the world when you help someone to finally achieve their goals. Like when I get messages from my guys saying, oh yeah, you've got my first sale or my second sale, or I don't know, I've partially quit my full like, full time nine to five job and that has happened before. It's like, it's, it's such a beautiful feeling, you know? So I'm just like, yeah, it's gonna sound fucking arrogant as fuck, man, but I just feel good like changing people's lives, you know? <laughs> It makes me feel good, and that's that really is why I do it. And like even YouTube now, I've, I've come back to YouTube now. It's like I only really do YouTube because I enjoy it now. It's like I've, I've got the, the drive to just blow up, not because I want more money, yeah, not because I want subscribers or anything like that, but I just enjoy making videos and I enjoy the process of it and everything. And I enjoy seeing how uploads do and the game of YouTube and getting the comments from people saying, like, thanks, Sam, this video really helped me. Like, that's why I do this stuff because I enjoy it. And yeah, I think back to when I had like a, a massive amount of clients, and it's just like. 
when it's like that and when you're juggling it all and it's and it's stressful it's it's not enjoyable and it's not nice it really really isn't and also just another thing if you're still starting out in coaching and everything like that when you increase your prices like obviously you're less likely to get a sale but when you finally do get a sale you're going to be so so much more pressured to actually give them the good value and actually help them as much as possible it's like if someone paid you like ten dollars for an hour of your time it's like you're going to be like yeah 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 whatever okay i'll help them a bit and everything but you're not really going to care about it if someone else paid you five hundred dollars for that you're going to be like oh shit i've actually got to fucking help them because they've paid me five hundred dollars yeah that's that's how it works like and again, if they only pay you a little bit, they're not going to care that much about getting much out of your product. It's like, I've joined countless communities on school and school, like school.com and everything, S-K-O-O-L, not like school that like you go to every day. But, um, I've joined countless like communities on there for like five, ten dollars. Like look to the content I've got on there for like 10 minutes and then just like left it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's because it's like, it's a low ticket thing and I don't care about it. Now, if that stuff was like $500, obviously I wouldn't be just buying it every now and then, like whenever I see it. But it's like if it was $500 and I actually bought it, I would put so much more effort into actually getting as much value out of it as I could. And then therefore it would help me more. And that works with your like coaching clients or whoever you're helping too. It's like, if they pay a higher price, they're going to be so much more pressured to get as much out of the coaching as possible. It's like, I've had guys who have bought my coaching for like $150 and then just never turned up to anything. They've just paid me $150 and then just not done anything. And like with the fight, and obviously that's kind of a good thing because I'm technically getting money, money, money for free, but it's like also a bad thing because even if they just like turn off the first hour call and take an hour of my time and then don't do anything, it's like, I'm kind of missing out on a testimonial and credibility and missing out on the fact like I can help people. And yeah, it is a free $150 and everything, but it's still like, <laughs> I think you understand what I mean, but with higher prices, people aren't like that. People are much more serious. Like, yeah, I've got to get results from this. And that's more serious. And you enjoy it more when people are actually serious like, and taking you seriously. Now, you're probably, now you probably have some limiting beliefs about increasing your prices and, do, and doing that because you might feel quite uncomfortable. Let's say your product's like $100 now, yeah. You might feel quite uncomfortable like increasing it to five hundred dollars. And honestly, like when I was selling my coaching for one hundred and fifty dollars, which is what it was for a long time, I did feel really, really uncomfortable um, like increasing it to five hundred dollars, like I have now. But honestly, like once you get your first sale or so, you just feel so much more confident because now it's like my coaching is like ten times better than it was before, simply because the price is higher and I can put more effort in on each client and. You really just have to go for it, okay? So whatever product you've got up for sale right now, whatever it is, just increase the price. Like I've, I've wrote some stuff down here. Like if you're charging, like in our general niche of self-improvement and the whole wider niche of self-improvement and making money online and all this stuff, you really want to be charging at least $100 minimum for your product. Now you might say, oh yeah, but I'm, I don't know, from India or like Thailand or somewhere where like the dollar rate is really high and everything and it's like, we don't make much money here. Even so, bro, charge $100, okay? Because I mean, I've had guys in Argentina and the everyone knows, I don't think everyone knows how the Argenti Argentinian economy is going, but it's not good, okay? Argentina's economy is not good at the moment. And these guys are still charging like $100, $150 even for their coaching. And they were still getting sales from people from Argentina and Spain and Peru and stuff and um, like across the rest of South America and Latin and everything like that. You can charge a high amount for your product. It's surprising. Like people do have money, okay? People do have money. Like $150, even a country like India, like a, a young guy working could easily probably make $150 within a month or so. Yeah, of just working a job. Yeah, a part-time job. It, it's, it's completely possible, yeah? And I mean, even here like in the UK, you, you see people with AirPods and like fancy like Air Force shoes and 300 pound coats and everything like that. And um. You're just thinking like people have money. Like people will pretend they don't have money when you offer the, like your product to them. But people have money. If they want to get money, they can get money. Okay, and so please, please, please raise your prices. Okay, don't have these limiting beliefs that yeah, but people can't afford it, or like oh yeah, but I'm not good enough to be charging this much yet. Okay, I am honestly like if I started charging like five hundred dollars for my coaching before like earlier this year. I would be way further ahead than I am now. And I learned this lesson pretty late, honestly. So please, please, please. Yeah, don't make the same mistake I did. Increase your prices now. Even, even if you haven't got your first sale yet, okay? Increase your prices. You're going to be out of, let's just say if you're doing some sort of one-on-one -on -one coaching, $200 minimum. If it's some other, like, I don't know, some other product, like a course or something, $100 minimum, yeah. And if you're worried that people will comment saying, oh yeah, this guy's charging way, way too much for his stuff and everything like that, bro. Don't care about them, okay? Because they're not going to buy anyway. Yeah, they're not going to affect you, okay? So just do it anyway. Please, 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 whatever your product is right now, go on to it. Just edit the price. Yeah, create a new payment link on Stripe, whatever you do, and just increase the price, okay? Please. And then you can comment on this video when you've done it, okay, to take action on it. I hope today served you well, bro. It's good talking with you today. And um, yeah, see ya.